Hello guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Professor's Garage. Professor here, that's Professor with two F's. And I made something for my D&D games, which I haven't had in a while, unfortunately. But it still has me a little excited and proud. Nonetheless, it turned out better than I expected. So I'm going to go ahead and turn around and we're going to get you a different view on things and we'll show you what I made. All right, let's do this. All right, so we brought you right up to my desk and let's get it before, without any further ado. So this is a spiritual weapon. For those who do not, do not know, a spiritual weapon is a spell that some characters can do. That'd be like clerics, so kind of like your priest and and a couple others that are more religiously focused. Um, or uh, godly backed. But this was inspired and guided and followed by another video on YouTube. I don't remember the channel who did it, but I will link it down in the description so you can find it. But real quickly, what I did is, at first, I got this, um, is one of those sword toothpicks that you can find, and I just got it from a, a restaurant. Uh, they had some at their bar, and I asked if I could have one, and they gave me one. And then I forgot that I, I thought I'd lost this one, so I asked for another one you know, a couple weeks later, and they gave me another one. So, I have an, another sword that I could make another one with, but... So, skipping back just a little bit, with Spiritual Weapon, ye, the character creates a magical, um, radiant weapon that appears and it floats around, and they can move it around with their mind, like... Okay, so, here's our cleric. This is my niece's mini for her cleric. And you're fighting a big scary owlbear, a pirate, and let's say another goblin. A goblin, just because. Oh, I can't see that. There we go. But what you can do is you can run over here and hit the big bear. And you cast this guy, and your magical floating weapon comes out. Let's go ahead and move this guy right there. And you can have it over here. And hit people. And then you can move it over here. I actually don't think you can move that far, but... On your next turn, you can say move it over here and hit this guy. But it allows you to be here and have something else attacking other places, or even the same thing that you are attacking. So, back to how we made it. So what you do is you take a clear plastic fork, and you break it. But, you break off one of the tines, and what I did was, it has a curve here, so... To straighten that out a little bit, I blasted it with a, a culinary torch. Just a little bit, because this thin plastic heats up real quick and it'll start to curl. You can kind of see it here, it's really clear, but it kind of waves that way a little bit. But you heat it just a little bit and straighten it out if you want. And then, <clears throat> what I did is I took my craft knife and I scratched all this base here and all up along here to make it a rough surface instead of the smooth plastic that it is and this base is from a store in Utah that unfortunately closed I really liked that store the puzzler this was a token for the hit he had this really cool um, rental system. You could rent a board game or card game that they had in, um, for rental and 
you take it home, you play it for a couple days, you bring it back, and then they give you, basically, well, they give you some store credit, and this was their store credit, and so it cost you really like a dollar, and then you would, they'd give you store credit to use in store for renting other games or something like that, but they closed before I could use this token, and I have another one, but they closed, unfortunately, it was sad, but <clears throat> then you get your two-part epoxy, which I need to get more of. You mix it together, and you put it on the base, and you put it on your sword, and you let it sit. And when it's all done, you have your spiritual weapon. But this will make using make it easier for me and for my niece and everyone else next time we play and she uses that spell this little marker will make it a lot easier to keep track of where everything is instead of using like a little die or a stick or a bullet or a skull I have a little bird skull I'm not going to show it because I don't think everyone wants to see it but if you want to see it let me know and I'll make a short video or something like that showing off the bird skull. But anyways, that's how it's done with a plastic fork, a little bit of epoxy, and I used a toothpick. You can buy, you know, a Lego dagger or a Lego sword and do the same thing. But... This is how I made mine, and I think it looks really cool. And I think that the owner of the former Puzzler would approve of use of this token like this. But, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thanks for watching, and have a great day, y'all.